Hello, you boys and girls. My name is Hatsasi, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Uh, here, where we are not mining, and I decided on a little bit change of plan because originally, uh, last time we were back there with our smelter, did a lot of redstone, but have no clue if it actually works. And then, of course, we uh, also have to hook up more uh, delivery lines, especially for the bone meal. Um, but as that covers a lot of uh, space on ground, uh, and we have another project underground, I thought maybe we will today dig another hole. Uh, to get to the bottom of this so we can then work uh, uh, at the bottom or on the top without interfering and as we cannot dig we have to use TNT and having a lot of delivery channel here on top like we have there behind me or redstone lines over there they tend to not to agree too much to TNT explosions. Therefore, I marked this uh, hazard hole here. That's the space we have to dig out. It's 30 by 30, so a bit less than, than two chunks. And it's actually not, not really a chunk aligned for the hole. It does not really matter. Uh, it becomes a bit more important for the for the stuff we want to put down there. Um, but one thing that I noticed is that in this area we do have a bit of um, water, and that does not go well with TNT. So luckily I have a few sponges uh, I can use to uh, soak up the water. Um, and then we will have some machines that do the TNT bombing for us. Uh, but one step at a time, I will dry out this water that I can find here and probably we will come across more water uh, further down uh, maybe also a bit of uh, of lava uh, we will see as we proceed I have set up one row of TNT destroyficators on this side uh, and then basically uh, moved everything along here so that we can blast out these two sides of the square and then we can move the whole thing to the middle and as you can see down there uh, the water is gone at least the water here on the top and everything closed off with cobble. I expect as we do the blasting, uh, we have to repair the cobble wall there uh, to avoid water leaking in and preventing efficient TNT destruction. And uh, this setup up here should get us down to halfway so basically till around level zero uh, and then we can basically move the two sides inwards uh, and probably uh, mirror either or rotate either this side or that side so that we can have uh, proper coverage because as you can see here uh, between the modules that's three blocks in between um, and 
if you look at the setup uh, from the TNT, you need more than, than three blocks uh, in, in length. So uh, once we have the outside done, we will mirror the, the thing there and uh, see how that goes. And I have one block here, one button here that should control all the duplicators and basically they should go off at the same time. And thereby we should not have issues where the TNT blast moves other TNT around and makes a mess, hopefully. That was the assembling. Then let's see how that goes. That blew up some machines here on this side and on this side. Okay, but I think we have now gained a bit of uh, additional height there so uh, it should not be that complicated to rebuild the uh, the machines that have blown up and uh, go down as far as we can and now we have a big hole. I cleaned up the walls quite a bit and everywhere where you can see cobblestone in the wall, there was water leaking in. And that was especially annoying as this hole it was a bit more tricky to do than the other ones we did over there. Because as you can see down there, there's also lava and lava and water do not mix well. Um, so had to be careful with that. But this hole is done and I decided to skip the whole process of how it's done because we did it uh, already uh, twice over there. And we will do it uh, more in the future so to close this episode i want to figure out something we have cobblestone here in in the first column and we have used quite a bit of cobblestone uh, for patching up the the whole stair so I was thinking maybe uh, we can uh, try to get us a shulker box and we do that by uh, basically uh, not triggering the system back there get me one shulker box but basically all that does is we get a signal uh, out here for that um, this one will actually move so if I click this one yeah that sends a signal out and we should yeah, that turned the TNT uh, blast chamber on, which means we should have, we should have cobblestone coming in. Now let's see if that is true. That light is on and yes, Cobblestone is coming in, so I count that as a big success because I did not test this uh, end to end, 
We tested all the all the components uh, for that to to work, uh, but not the complete picture all together. And it fills me with great joy that even this, I mean, the cobblestone uh, is probably the, the easiest thing to get. And sometime soon, we will have to see how the interaction with the, with the uh, um, furnace array that's the word with the furnace array is working uh, and uh, uh, then we hopefully uh, can really see that everything works as it is intended but for now that's it i wish you a pleasant day and hope to see you soon with another day in minecraft until then goodbye